In dangerous air quality conditions across the eastern U.S. on Wednesday. About 98 million people in parts of 18 states are under alert, grounding flights and closing schools in multiple cities. Doctors warning people to stay inside, particularly those with respiratory issues. Some of the worst of it was in New York City, where the hazardous conditions were the worst on record, breaking a 52-year-old mark. Fox News correspondent Nate Foy has more. The smell of smoke still lingers here in New York City after conditions reached their worst at about 2 p.m. today, where for about a half an hour, we could not see the sun. It was so dark that drivers had their lights on while they were navigating the city in the middle of the day. But I want to show you a look at New York skyline. You can see how serious these conditions are. Mayor Eric Adams here in New York City predicts that tomorrow will be even worse than today. Today. He has this advice for New Yorkers. Listen to him. This is not the day to train for a marathon or to do an outside event with your children. But stay inside, close windows and doors, and use air purifiers, purifiers if you have them. This is new video from New York City. Take a look at Times Square. Low visibility caused significant delays at airports, and schools are also keeping students inside to protect them from the smoke. But it's not just New York dealing with this. Take a look at this map. The red and orange dots show you where the air quality is the worst. You can see it extends as far south as North Carolina and as far west as Chicago, where we have new video from. Take a look. In this quad box, you see Chicago as well as Canada, where all this smoke is coming from. Over 400 wildfires are burning there, including over 100 in Quebec. But you also see Detroit and Philadelphia where people are complaining of headaches from the smoke. I feel it. I'm getting like a little bit of a headache. When I got back from school, my, my head was hurting. I don't know. I was just having really bad headaches and then my nose started bleeding. Our Fox weather team forecasts that the smoke will be cleared out by this weekend. Both the Yankees and the Phillies have canceled their games tonight as a result of the smoke. Reporting in New York, Nate Foy, Fox News. Coming up, Chase will have a look at your forecast.